New Quest 2 accessories, Bobo VR has dropped their whole plus line. We've been showing them off to you one by one, but we've been waiting and waiting for this thing to finally arrive. The Bobo VR M2 Plus with the battery and the battery dock. Let's open this up. Of course, there's tape on the box. We got to get that small, sharp unboxing knife out just to cut that tape. You always want to be safe. Don't go trying to tear tape on your own. Now, I was wondering in the earlier videos, I said that this was coming out where it comes with the battery dock and the head strap. And I was wondering, is it going to come in all different boxes? Well, it all comes in one big package here. And it looks like I'm guessing this is the dock right here, probably both the batteries. M2 Plus right here. It does come with, of course, the flexible back pad in here. And interestingly, because the box is bigger, it comes already pre-installed, so that's kind of nice. We got the front strap on here, which I did end up removing on mine, but it's there in case you need it. Comes with those honeycomb back pads, which I'll probably swap out at least one of those, if not both. All right, and as I thought, we've got one and two batteries. Right now, this whole kit goes on Amazon for it's set to $99, which is a pretty good deal because you figure if you were to get an M2 Plus with battery, you'd probably be looking at 60 bucks or more. And then for the dock, the extra battery, you'd be looking at a little over $100. So you're saving some money if you get it all at once. And the really nice and easy thing about this is instead of having to go walk away and go test this thing for hours, I've actually been able to make an M2 Plus with battery this week because they sent us enough pieces that I was able to assemble mine myself. And so I've already gotten to spend a lot of time testing it and seeing what I like about it. So previously with the M2 Pro, they originally gave you the pleather padding, but they later on made a retrofit kit that came with some honeycomb stickier padding for people who are having slipping issues. The new Plus line includes both options, which is really nice because what I've actually found I'm liking so far is I'm rocking the honeycomb at the top for that nice stickiness it's gonna hang on. But then at the bottom, I've been leaving the pleather just to help it cup the lower part of my skull hang on a little bit nicer. And I really like that you just have the customizable options with these. It includes the battery dock here. And in our other video, we showed you how long it takes for these batteries to charge. What we figured out was you can put your battery on, you can be playing your game, about two and a half to three hours that battery's gonna last you. Your other battery will be fully charged by then, so you can just hot swap real quick. Then this one, same thing again, it's gonna fully charge, so you essentially could play forever. I mean, you could go four batteries later, you could get through 12 hours of Gorilla Tag, which I don't know anybody who'd wanna do that, but apparently some people do. The battery dock is a nice addition. It doesn't make any noise, which some people really like because the D2 had a really loud beep. Some people said, oh, I'd like it if it just had that nice little satisfying beep when it goes on there. But they decided to go no sound on it at all. It pops on and has all visual indication of whether it's charging, where it's at. And the question a lot of you asked was, hey, if I wanted to mount it on my wall or something weird, could I do it? Technically you could. The magnets are strong enough to hang on, but it doesn't have any holes. So you'd have to figure out a custom option. They include this nice sticky pad so that when you find its final resting place, this will stay where you put it. I would not recommend trusting this to put this on your wall, though you're gonna have to figure out some sort of solution if you really want to do that. Plus strap with battery kit goes for $99 on Amazon, which is a good savings over buying the dock separately, the strap, especially if you had to buy the strap and buy the conversion kit, it does save you a chunk of money there. Main question from a lot of you is probably gonna be, I've already got the M2 Pro, do I need to get the Plus? If you've got an M2 Pro and you love the way it feels in your head, it fits nicely, it stays in place when you're gaming and you're happy with it, there's no need to switch. If for some reason you do have the Pro and you don't quite like the way the hard plastic back feels on your head or you find that it's slipping around a little bit, the Plus really does fix that and you could essentially buy this and you could probably sell your M2 Pro because there is still quite a market for the M2 Pro or you could just hang on to it and have that extra battery so you could swap these out without getting the dock. For me personally, I've got the Plus now and it's my all-time strap. Most comfortable thing I've ever had for the Quest 2. It's got all the great features the Pro had of keeping it weight on your forehead, not pushing on your eyebrows and your cheekbones down here. I think the battery is awesome. Some people say they want a bigger one but I don't ever play sessions long enough to really need a longer one and if I do I just swap the battery out so I don't have to worry about that it's easy to just go grab it what do you think out there do you have the pro have you been holding out because I've been teasing that I thought there was something coming and now you're gonna get this and it's exactly what you need or are you someone who still prefers like the Kiwi Elite strap you're waiting to see some of those let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you out there but I'm excited and I don't know for sure if Bobo's coming out with anything else they're talking about you know the Cambria is coming and maybe a Quest Pro Quest 3 all the rumors so at this point I think that they've made the plus line because it's addressed all the issues anyone else had 
up with their previous head straps to just make the best product they can for customers. And I respect what Bobo is doing. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but I wanna say thank you so much for coming here and being with us. We're at almost 21,000 subscribers and I think we just celebrated 20. So thank you again for all of your support. And I will see you in another reality. Woo!